Good morning or good afternoon, depends what time you're watching this. It is your boy Efren from Gold Level Media. So I was putting on my Instagram that I want to make a video um, doing a marketing campaign and let you know the ROI, the return on investment, right? So I'm gonna give you the pricing that cost it might cost a little bit less for us because we own a marketing company so like the printing and the labor work and all that stuff we get for free so i'm still going to put that into the total cost so like that you have an exact number so first things first we're doing direct mail for goal level print we bought a bunch of printers and stuff to print uh business cards flyers and like all this other cool stuff right since we barely bought all the equipment we need to make the money up for the equipment. Uh, this bad boy right here costs us about $50,000, right? So um, it makes flyers, business cards, cuts, all this stuff. Um, this thing as well costs us about like $4,000. Uh, we bought a lot of other cool little gadgets like this. Ben's paper makes it like this. So it does brochures. So, you know, we, we invested a lot of money into cool things to be able to sell more on Go Level Print. And, uh, you know, printing was one of our business, like, side income. But we're like, hey, you know, this printing thing can really take off. Because we currently do just marketing for other companies. And we offer printing for our clients only. And we're like, you know what, let's launch a website, which we did. And that's goldlevelprint.com. And from there, you, we're like, okay, now it's publicly up but now we got to get traffic to it so uh, we put the website up we put certain products up there and we decided to do a marketing campaign i was like you know what my instagram has a lot of followers and all that stuff so let's go ahead and um you know break down the marketing campaign so what we did is here we have let me show you what we're doing so we're doing direct mail uh eddm with usps so we designed this card for about you know average business card design will probably cost you anywhere from like 60 to 70 dollars and we printed 5,000 which they're about to go out uh, but to be honest I love the design but I'm not sure if it's gonna work for the client or for the potential customer due to um, it doesn't have any other pictures. We do have a coupon code that we're going to track the physical transactions that come in with the coupon code. So once we do the direct mail and if somebody uses this coupon code, that's how we know if this flyer worked is by looking at how many transactions came in with the coupon code. So at the end of the month, we're going to be like, oh, okay, well, a thousand orders or even or five orders let's be realistic <laughs> five orders came in with this coupon code so that means we made x amount and um or we lost x amount right so we'll be able to keep track of everything but the goal is we might lose money we might lose money sending these out but the goal is to keep long life clients meaning let's say with these five thousand postcards we get uh two clients we get two really good clients that keep printing every month about 500 to 700 dollars a month two right and that's the goal because what makes money is not the individual sales it's getting those people that have a small business and they always order business cards and they always order uh flyers or they always order something every single month that's what we're trying to build is our customer base and uh, we can always retarget them you know of course we do have facebook ads and all that stuff but that's a whole different video today i'm focused on this so in order to do direct mail with usps you have to bundle these in hundreds so we bundle them in hundreds and then uh we're going to target this zip code so let me walk to my office and we'll go from there Mr. Christopher. Morning, sir. How are you doing? Pretty good. How are you doing? Good. Everyone's barely getting here. It is early morning, so. So then you go to Google and you type in uh, USPS EDDM. 
EDDM means, uh, what does it mean? Every door direct mail. That's what it stands for, EDDM. So the cool thing about the USPS, th this is really cool, is they have a EDDM tool online. So I click on the tool and it actually gives you a breakdown on how to do direct mail. So uh, let's let this load here. So you have the full United States. My zip code that I want to target is 85012. So I'm going to go ahead, enter the zip code. Guys, if you hit the wrong zip code, you can lose a lot of money because, you know, uh, you have to know the audience that you want. And what I'm doing here is uh, this street right here. I don't know if you guys see it. I'm hovering over it. That street is this street. So you got nothing but businesses to the left and to the right. So that zip code is this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover and you can see how many residential and how many businesses are in that little section on my zip code. So since I already know and I did my research, this is a target area that I'm going to hit. You have 388, 385 residential and 132 businesses. Uh, age group is 25 to 44, 38%, total people 517. So, you know, I'm definitely going to click here. And then uh, mostly all the businesses are on the edge by the street. So here I hovered through here and you have 147 businesses, 12 residential. So I'm gonna go ahead and click right there as well. As you start clicking, you start noticing the number here on the right hand side, you have the uh, the post office where you got to drop it off because you do have to drop off yourself the stacks of a 100. So here, that means I would have to drop off seven stacks. So 676, that means I would have to drop off seven stacks of 100 and how many post office I would have to visit, which is one. And um, my approximate cost is $126. I believe it's kind of average everywhere you go is 0.18 cents. Well, let's say 0.19 cents, the cost of delivering those. So I'm going to, my budget is around 200, but well, actually I want to do around a thousand uh, addresses. That's just because I want to test the physical uh, flyer because, you know, you can have the right zip code, you can have the right everything, but you know, the flyer, if it's not attractive, I mean, you're pretty much screwed. So um, here's close to 1000. If I had anything else, it'll be over a thousand cards. So what I'm going to do, it's going to cost me $180. I'm going to click continue and you got to create an account. Once you create an account, you place the order. Um, once you place the order from there, Oh, why did I look yellow? From there, what you do is you go to the post office and you go to the front, you wait in line and you just tell them, hey, I bought this online, um, here you go. And that's it. I mean, it's simple as that. Uh, so pretty much we invest, we're gonna invest $190, let's say with taxes and everything. 190 plus the printout of the business, I mean, of the flyers, which I'm going to give you, you know, pricing at what, you know, at what you is the average market. Um, let's take a look here as well, guys, you got, you need to make sure you add that. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw it. I'll show you. I'll try to show you here in just a little bit. I'm here on goloprint.com and uh let's say we printed five thousand so two hundred and ten dollars so two hundred and ten dollars for five and let's pull up the calculator real quick um so so far we are 250 up uh, 210 dollars because we ordered five thousand plus forty dollars for design right plus uh, a hundred and eighty dollars for our first batch to try it out. So we are four hundred and thirty dollars in so far. Um, so now my goal is to really keep track of everything. Is get rid of the five thousand postcards by the end of this month, which we still have a lot of time, and track it for about sixty days. Not everyone's going to order right away. Um, I, I am planning on doing a hundred thousand mail pieces. So a hundred like between today and two or three months, I do plan on doing a hundred thousand pieces. So 
Hopefully this works though. The only reason why I don't want to do the full 5,000 is because we're going to we're going to tweak our campaign as we go. A lot of people are like, oh, I tried this campaign or with this marketing so it just didn't work. Well, did you try tweaking it and you just launched your campaign just like that, right? So I'm going to see the response rate on this. And if the response rate is okay or if it's too low, I'm going to get a brand new design. And it's better to reprint our cards versus you know uh doing a full hundred thousand and then just hoping it works you know what i'm saying so tweak as you go um so hopefully you like this video if you do if you have any questions about marketing or anything please thumbs up comment down below subscribe let your friends know i will be uploading a lot more videos like this um and hopefully you guys enjoy and make some good money thank you for watching your boy tex or efren peace out